Hello there, everybody playing some Little Nemo, the Dream Master for NES today. Um, so I bought this game, um, it's a Christmas present for my friend who had it when she was a kid. And uh, she can never make it past level 3, the train part, <coughs> which, uh, understandable, is pretty tough. Um, so I bought it for her and, you know, we played it a little bit. Still pretty tough, but I decided to, you know, give it a real shot. Finally beat the whole thing, and I did. Uh, it was fun, but I'd be lying if I said uh, it didn't make me want to gouge my eyes out a few times, but not too tough. Once you get through it and you know what you're doing, where to go to get the keys, enemy movement patterns, etc. Uh, so, here we go. This is level one, the uh, mushroom forest. Uh, okay, we gotta throw some candy to this dude right here. Three pieces of candy. Key up here. Uh, those wasp dudes are a real bitch um, until you learn their uh, movement pattern a little bit. They're not too bad, but they give a lot of people a real headache. <laughs> uh, another key up here. Yeah. Okay, key number two. Don't need that yet, so we'll leave it. Uh, the wasp guy shows up right here. Yep, yeah, there you go. Fuck you. Key number three. There's three more. There's a mole dude up here you gotta get inside, burrow down for a couple more keys. Okay. Uh, that's really all you need that guy for. Sure, come over to the left. Another key right here. And uh, now there's only one more already. Watch out for those Mario World bats. You just let them come and then jump over them. Okay, we need this dude again. This part's a little tricky if you don't know to wait for that wasp guy to come. You just gotta wait first and then jump, or else he's gonna keep knocking you off the platforms. Which is annoying. And then you wait for that guy. You bounce on stuff and you got this frog suit, dude. Oh, okay, you got us, but that's alright. Okay, uh, there's another key that you gotta get up here to the left. It's the last one. And you can kind of jump through right there. Can we get it? Alright, so that's it. Um, right, we just need to get to the end. Don't really need that guy, although you can give him candy. Uh, and that's it. Uh, there's the exit. We got six keys. It's a little Nemo level one. Okay, <clears throat> a little Nemo level two. Dream two, the flower garden. Okay, walk over and talk to this crazy bastard. Yeah, Oompy. All right. Apparently, Little Nemo is based on uh, like an old-timey comic strip, like a newspaper comic strip. Um, never seen it, but. People tell me it's actually pretty cool. Um, anyway, level 2 was tough for me when I was first playing this game. Um, it took me many tries to be able to beat it. Um, it's not really that hard, but it's kind of a steep spike in difficulty from level 1. Um, right here, you can get really like tangled up with these guys. These bees keep coming. This guy's gonna come down. You just have to, you know, whoops, learn the pattern. Um, whatever these crazy things are, like an owl poking out of a bird's nest or something, I don't know, but you knock those guys down, you get the health over there, and then it's important that you come up the tree on the left side, there's a key up here, or else um, you're going to be stuck, whoops, stuck on the right, um, and you won't have space without getting hit by the, the spores that are falling. So you trigger these spores before you climb or else they're going to hit you. It's usually inevitable to take a hit right here. So you get in this guy, um, get the key over here, and he climbs on stuff, and now you can just fall down. <clears throat> okay, you have to go back over to the left and go in here. Only the wizard can get in there. Then you switch to the B-Man. Uh, get the 
key and then come back up, or else you might not be able to make it all the way up there. Okay, trigger a spore so one isn't going to fall while you're flying, and then come up here and get another key. Watch out for that guy. Uh, there's a key up here, be careful that you don't hit the spikes. Instant death. Unrelenting children's game here. Okay. Um, so I forget, is it over here where there's water? Yeah, right here you need to go down. Uh, and there's another key down here. Watch out for that guy. <laughs> Fall down to the right or else he'll hit you. Super Mario World birds. Extra life. Key number five. Okay. Okay. Um, go down here. Watch out for these. Angry sperm. Don't need the health. Okay. Uh, now you get this lizard to get the final key. Just crawl up the left, he's not going to hit you, and then don't jump, you just walk. Okay, and when you jump here, watch out for a worm guy who's going to be down there, you got to jump over him. Yep, okay. And that's it. Little Nemo level 2. Okay, here we go with level 3, House of Toys. Um, it's like an auto-scrolling level. Um, it's pretty tough, gotta be honest. I think this level, um, from what I've heard, was kind of a choke point for a lot of people. It was as far as they ever got. Like I said, uh, my friend who had it when she was a kid, um, and I bought I bought my copy of it for her. She never made it past this, even though she owned it. Um, never saw what comes after this. Um, it's pretty hard, but I mean, it's not impossible. It's not much harder than an average level of like a, a side-scrolling shooter. Um, you know, you just practice it and you can get it, I believe it, you know. Wait a second there. Um, helps if you stay to the right of the screen for a lot of it. You'll notice me doing that. You just kind of, a lot of stuff will just pass you by if you're on the right. Um, okay. uh, right here, get to the right of the screen. To trigger this guy and then jump to the left because if you even brush those spikes you're dead um okay. dodge some more of these guys yeah um, they drop you know as soon as they drop one you run to the right they're not gonna hit you okay you can just jump and grab the key whoops jump and grab the keys I think they give you a bunch of extra ones at the end of the level in case you miss any so that you don't get to the end and then you're just screwed. Um, spike part, not too bad. Um, duck. <laughs> you don't have to duck um, everywhere, but there are a few places where you do, so I just duck habitually. Pretty generous with the health in this part. Um, yeah, do low jumps here. Whoops made it. <laughs> uh, okay, almost to the end now. Got some planes coming here. Grab the extra life. And that's it. Level 3. There's even an extra one over there. I guess I got two extra. Okay. One thing I forgot to mention about level three is that uh, <clears throat> there's no like checkpoint in there. You just start over from the top every time that you die, which, you know, it takes a little practice to get that, so it's pretty frustrating. I can see why people would just like throw their controller at the TV and give up. <laughs> but uh, next level, Night C is. Pretty easy. Um, this should have been level two. Like level two is is way harder than this. But what can you do? Um, 
first key. Is there a key down here? No, it's not a key. I think there's just health down here. Yeah. You can get in this guy, dig down. I guess it's just kind of showing you that you can use that guy to dig. Yeah, that's right. There's a key. There's nothing else down there. There's nothing in the ship. You would think, you know, it's kind of cool. There's a ship up there, but no, there's nothing in there. Usually, I can't get out of here without taking a hit. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, you get the fish up here. Watch out for the angry sperm. Okay, first you want to come down to this one. And go up. It's a little secret. It's weird that there's this little secret area. As far as I know, it's the only one in the game where you just kind of vanish. <laughs> um, watch out for the spikes in here. Spikes right there. Very unforgiving with the spikes. Okay, I think I'm gonna come out here. Um, you, you don't have to go down there unless you need health. There's some health down there. You just wanna come back out and then go up to the other located area. Oops, could have saved that life for after you get in this guy, you get an extra empty health. Oh no, you don't. No, no. <clears throat> okay. Shout for the spikes. Okay. Um, Alright, there's a key here if you get in the hermit crab guy. And then this level only has five keys, not six. So this is the last one. Oh, he needs room to jump all the way up. And we can just leave him. And now we'll just a uh, straight shot to the finish. Just watch out for the spikes. And those guys. I'll get you. Give those fish a second. And that's all there is to it. Well, before. Okay, here we go with Nemo's house. Let's talk to this guy. <clears throat> yeah, this game really does have great um, graphics and color. It is a really good NES game pretty much all around. I know a lot of people think it's really tough, and you know, it's pretty hard, but give it a little time. I, it's probably just hard for kids. It's like, I don't know who little Nemo is being marketed for, but not really easy enough for kids. Capcom. Um, okay, first key is uh, going to be up and to the left. Give those guys a second so you don't get tangled up there. Fake out these Mario bats. If you jump, they'll usually uh, just take off pretty high up so they go over you. Um, okay, head back over here. You're going to want to go down here. Okay, jump over that and then go to the right, and he's not going to hit you. I used to get hit there every time. Okay, all the way over to the right here. Faking out the bats. Okay, jump on that monkey, and jump on that monkey. <laughs> Fall down here, and there's a key down here. Flopping around. Okay. Get the lizard man over here. Speeding around down lizard man. There's that key. Now we need to transform into the bee. He's up here. Doing old Batman wall jumping. Be that. Okay. Okay, 
just go right up here. I usually get hit right here by that guy. Yep, but he knocks me into the health. <laughs> you, oh yeah, you can shoot when you're the bee. Take out some bats. Okay, now we're back where we were before here. We're gonna go up. Key right there. Um, and then, yeah, there's another one back over to the left that we can get right now. All the way over here. And then let's go all the way back. Okay. Oops. Okay. Um, it's the one all the way over. Yeah, okay. So we'll go up here. Oops, ran out of juice. Stay as the bee and do this. You're gonna need him again. Health and key. And just go back out. Okay, now uh, back over to the left. You can uh, leave the bee behind, just be easier to do this. We're gonna transform into the mouse with the hammer, sleepy mouse with hammer. <laughs> Go back out, okay. I usually get hit in between these things. No, nope. no, nope. good. Yeah, he's a little, he, he climbs stuff, so he's a little hard to navigate there. Um, This part here, I, I died so many times before I realized how to do this. You just smack those things and then walk out of the way. Um, so not too bad, but I was trying to like jump and dodge everything I didn't realize. I guess I should have, you know, figured that with the hammer he can smack stuff. Guess not. You can climb over those, and uh, you saw these like bricks over here before that you can bust through now. You can't get that one yet. B. Is there anything over here? Yeah, but we'll we'll take him out when we have the B and we can shoot him. it right there but we need two more now we can get this one and we can go over here shoot that guy and get that one and that's the last one we just go right down to the exit okay and that's Nemo's house Okay, this is level 6 Cloud Ruins, pretty much just a straightforward platformer, uh, no keys to collect until the end. <clears throat> um, it's not too bad, I thought it was it's one of the easier levels. Basically like a, a hard, hard Mario level maybe, hard Mario 3 level. So I like to just keep the bee guy for this, um, and you know you just land on the clouds and then keep flapping up. My color always goes out right there for some reason. Just stay ahead of the stork guys. Oops. Okay. Yep, remember to just <laughs> walk under those things, trigger them to fall. They'll be much less annoying once you learn how to do that. 
Um, so here you can switch to this guy. Whoops. These guys will come at you. You can uh, jump on them. Okay, come back up here so you can get the wizard and then go down. Okay, you get him and then you come back over here to go down. <clears throat> you just fall down this hole. Um, can be a little tricky to jump over those guys at this point. Okay, you come through here and change back to normal Nemo. And uh, you got this like <laughs> downward scrolling section here. Oh yeah, if you mistime it, you'll get a, a spore in your way, which is a little annoying, but it uh, should be fine. Okay, and that's it. Um, just hop on over here. Wait for this guy to commit suicide. And that's it. <clears throat> okay, level 7 topsy turvy. I guess it's supposed to be like Nemo's house upside down. Mm -hmm, no one comes and talks to you at the beginning of this one. Alright, so first thing you want to do is just run all the way over to the right and get this key right here. Go back and up these little steps. Hop over the little frog guys. Nemo has to have one of the best jumps in, in all of NES. They just double arm out, swan dive. Okay. Key over there. <laughs> Um, get this guy, bounce on stuff, uh, get the B, okay, and there's a, another key over here to the right, gotta shoot a couple of monkeys, okay, um, there's two holes here, uh, just go up the one to the left. This, uh, there's a key right here, straight up, that I couldn't find when I was first trying to beat this level, but make sure you grab that one and then transform into the mouse guy. Oops, okay, this takes a little timing. You want to trigger a spore to fall um, and give you time to go up the wall and up to the next platform, so... Nope. Okay. And you wait for another one. Okay, go up here. Oh, not always easy to stay out of the way. You can afford to take a hit up here as long as you don't die. <laughs> There's health over here. Oops. Monkey got us. Okay, there's a key over here. Oh, okay. Monkey disappeared. Seems to be a glitch right there. That's happened a few times. Okay. <clears throat> this part takes a little timing. You want to... Okay. <laughs> Not get hit. You want to get up there um, without getting hit by a spore and with the B over to the right so it doesn't knock you off. So it can take a few tries. There's also health down over here if you need it. Just watch out for the eggs. Okay. Okay, I think we got it this time. Okay. Couple more keys left. I believe there's a, an extra life up here. Yeah. Couldn't hurt. Alright, 
And then on the other side to the right here is a key. Just one more key now, there's seven in this level. Okay, so trigger a spore before you go up here. Nope, the star guy might get you. Yeah, a lot of beating this game comes down to, like, timing the stuff with the spores. Um, okay, now you really just need to get over to the right here, and the last key is down here, so you need to be the B. And there you go. Okay, here we go in Nightmare Land, part one. <clears throat> so now you have this thing. You power it up and shoot stuff. Would have been cool if you had that earlier in the game, but uh, don't get it until the last level. <clears throat> okay, so you're going to take this guy, jump over a frog dude. A couple bats are going to come at you up here. Um, you just let them, you know, let them come, get out of the way, jump over them. This guy, you come down here, fake him out, go back up. This guy, you can just jump and he won't hit you. Right here, you don't need to jump at all, you just walk. Jump over that guy. Another wizard for some reason. Okay, and uh, you can just walk across here and time it so you don't get hit. Oh, sometimes I get hit right there. All right, here you wanna come over to the right. Um, go up over here, get the health, and then like wait for a couple guys to drop and go back up. Don't go too high, there's spikes right there. Um, you wanna jump, jump over him. I usually get rid of the lizard guy at this point. <laughs> um, just a couple easy jumps here. Okay, now make sure you have your morning star out and you gotta fight this penguin guy. He's pretty easy, he goes down pretty fast as long as you charge up and blast him um, or else he'll, he'll take a while. So, just take care of this guy. Oops, hit by a bubble. Hmm, it's actually taking a little longer than normal. Let me charge up here. Hmm. It does seem like sometimes this guy takes way longer than other times. There we go. So, you know, he's not too hard. He's like, you know, pretty basic NES boss fare right there. <clears throat> Alright, now we're on to uh, part two. Of okay, here we go with level eight, part two. Um, I think most people would agree this is the hardest section of the game. Uh, there's extra life right there if you need it. Just run on up this little ledge here. Uh, you're gonna head over to the right and grab the wizard fellow. There he is. Of course, you got spores coming at you the whole time, or else it just wouldn't be Little Nemo. All right, um, a little tough to uh, to time this jump right here sometimes, just go right after that flame shoots out. Uh, here, you can just tuck down in that corner and not get hit. Quick jump there to avoid the spore, and then you come on over to the right. When you get to this ramp thing here, just go right up and then back down to fake out that spore, then go right up under the next one. The flames from the top here can't hit you, so just focus on the bottom one, and of course not getting hit by the falling spores. This little platform go all the way to the left and then back over to fake out the spore and then jump off. Toss some candy right into that guy's face. <clears throat> Grab him. And now I'll do the same thing again, but with the slow ass frog suit guy. <clears throat> you do have enough time to walk past the flames without getting hit. So not as hard as it might seem at first. 
and then you switch out of that guy so as not to get hit by those spikes. Here we go with uh, and level eight part it. three. It's much easier <laughs> than the last one. Part two, get your morning star out and just did, uh, dive into the water, fight off this crocodile here. And jump on up to this platform. Duck. Okay, and now your old pal, the annoying wasp guy is back, but now you can kill him, so that's satisfying. Unless you stand still for too long, then he respawns and comes and gets you again, like you just saw. <laughs> so just keep blasting these guys and moving on. Very gracious with the health here at the end, and okay, that is the end of this part, so now you gotta fight this, uh, <clears throat> this here manta ray guy. He's not too tough. Um, <laughs> again, like pretty basic kind of, you know, old school NES boss, very simple pattern. Um, just charge up and blast him. Serious backfire there with the Morning Star. Oh, yep, yeah, sometimes they'll get you. <laughs> okay. That's it for that guy. Not too crazy. Here we are. <clears throat> Here we are at uh, Nightmare Land Part Four. Again, not as hard as Part Two. This game likes to put the hard parts in the, in the beginning. Hard part first, and Little Nemo. Okay, let's. Uh, really nice looking, cool level here. Watch out for your old wasp friend, who you can now blast out of the sky. Come up here and just uh, dodge these falling brick things. Last one, you don't have to. No, oh, whoops! Don't have to dodge the last one. You just uh, fall down the hole right there. Um, now you can just smack these guys. And look, it's your old buddy, the purple wizard guy. Only need him for a second, though. It's, uh, now you can just run past all the, the bats. Don't have to jump. The game sort of gives you a brief little second with all your all your friends here. Um, you're going to get the bee guy up here, and then uh, head back over to the left for the mouse. Sleepy mouse with hammer. The falling blocks are gone. Oh, now they're back. Okay, a little glitch there. Okay, um, come on up here to get the mouse. Jump on down to this platform and then climb the wall. Alright, and now is your last sort of hellish gauntlet to the boss where you're gonna dodge the eggs and jump over the flames. There's uh, the Nightmare King back there. Pretty scary looking. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now we got this. Uh, now we got this final section here. Um, it just gives you like a bunch of life and health and stuff. Uh, one ups. You just kind of drop down, get all the extra lives, 
just fall down into the water and uh <clears throat> All right, now we've got our final battle with the Nightmare King here. <clears throat> so the first thing you want to do, just charge up right as he comes out and blast him a couple times there. Take out his red snot bubble. All he really does is slide around in his torso, shoot his red snot bubble at you, and then fire these three lasers. Um, you can always tell when the lasers are coming because he like raises his left hand up there like that. Um, I try to get into a pattern of just like taking out the snot bubble with a quick blast from the morning star and then giving him a more powerful one not always easy to do the only laser that's ever going to hit you is the first one um, the other two are always too far away so you just watch out for the first one Everybody, the Nightmare King. <clears throat> and that's how you beat Little Nemo.